face to face. And today we're going to go to Chile, we're going to go to South America, we're going to talk about politics. I'm with Pia. Welcome to Face to Face. Uh, it's an honor to have you in New York. Well, it's are, an honor for me to, to be have you here, here in the studio. It's in fantastic. This wonderful, <laughs> wonderful studio. You know, I want to recognize something. Yeah. The the my reverie mm -hmm. has become to live here, to, working in this ah, studio. Welcome, yes. <laughs> to work in this studio, to pass we're gonna, the rest we're, we're of my life you, editing, gonna, editing, no, no, no. editing videos, we're interviews. We're going to give know. you the room, no problem. <laughs> Fantastic studio. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, really, no, it's great. Really, mm -hmm. congratulations. Yeah, we have of congratulations, thanks, because I mean, it's a wonderful, yeah. wonderful installation. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Yes. And we sh should do it in Santiago. I, I think you should open... A studio like this? Yeah. Wow, you don't know what is private, what is public, what is commons, what is what. There, everything is privatized. I know, I know. As in all, all around the world. In South America, it's terrible. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. Yeah. So but you couldn't the, have... All the media are privatized. It's no... Wow, 98% of, yeah. the, of the media in Chile are of two two, two groups. family two groups economic no is a group they are not even yeah, family no, no yeah. longer families but economical groups yeah and private mm -hmm. yeah no 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 forget so they never talk no, about the Mapuche, like they never one. talk about yeah wow yeah no here we have people from all over fantastic it's, it's fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. really yeah. Yeah. so South America is changing for the worse it's very complicated what's going on how to say it? Between Argentina, uh, I would say Brazil. that the what we call moments in history are mm -hmm. long-term things, mm -hmm. are not two moments and mm -hmm. passes. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, maybe not so long terms because history is getting faster and faster and faster. Everything is very much accelerated, but. All around the world, especially here, you started. Come on, you I started. Know, that's true. <laughs> yeah, um, we We're... are in front of a anti-humanist moment of process. I would say that the anti-humanist forces yeah. are expressing themselves yes, everywhere, yeah. and they become vulgar. I mean, they become like in your mm. face. Like, yeah, like yeah. it's really yeah, it, a sort of without, characters, sort without of any extremes, sadness, without sort of um, groseros, we yeah, say in Spanish, yeah, yeah, no? Yeah, exactly, vulgar. Yeah. Yeah. Vulgar. Yeah. Um, we have in Latin America forgotten about the good people in power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't say left because really they were social democrats. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. um, they, they made mistakes, many mistakes. Mm -hmm. Firstly, they didn't change the media. Mm -hmm. They didn't touch the media in Brazil, for instance. Nor Dilma, nor Lula touched the media. So the media became the opposition. Yeah. More than the po political parties yeah. in Bolivia, the media have always been the opposition to Evo. Yeah. Yeah? The same happened in Argentina, the yeah. same happened in Chile, yeah. of course. Yeah, of course. The same happened in Peru, everywhere, yeah. in Ecuador. Yeah. Yeah? Even if Correa was able to develop a, a, a media law, yeah. And a change yeah. in, in and he was he was pretty good with the media. He know to <laughs> he, he know to yeah. Korea has yeah. his talent yeah. to, yes. to to yes. go through the yes. cameras and yes. The, but but with the result of yeah. the first round in Brazil, yeah. come on, the whole continent is depressed. I mean, yeah. <laughs> the humanist people. Yeah, because we are seeing that everywhere in the states, in so many countries, Mexico is an exception. Really, Mexico is a, is a different. But thing. Mexico, they had the process a little bit before. I mean, yeah. I think it was yeah. much complicated yes, it's, for it's them like before. Late. Yeah. And, and a four day with the yeah. election and. Yeah, but in South America, except except a couple of countries, we are we have this ultra right uh, uh, men in power. Mm -hmm. All of them men, of course, no woman. Mm -hmm. All of them men again, no in power with a with a kind of right that is not only 
privatizing the rest of the rest of the rest of the state because they have privatized everything, but they are um, augmenting the, the distance because the hyper rich, the super richest, and, and the gap. And it's, the gap. It's unbelievable. Yeah, because the middle class is becoming poor and poor yeah. and poor. In Argentina, no, it's something unbelievable. That's the same here. Yeah. That's the same here. Yes. I mean, the, the middle class disappear. I mean, disappear. To give you an So you have millions of poor, and you have these very little elites that handle in their hands all the economical and political power, yeah. and religious yeah. also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The evangelistic church in yeah. Brazil yeah. had a race incredible. Yeah. Well, so we are, and the media, mm -hmm. and the media supporting them. Mm -hmm. yeah? So we are having this tremendous gap that is leaving aside millions of people from development, from health, from education, from housing, from yeah. retirement. I mean, the, the amount of poor. It's incredible. But do you think it comes from copying the U.S.? or it, Because I'm telling you, the media story here in the U.S. is unbelievable. I mean, like uh, uh, the Washington Post was bought by Jeff Bezos. I mean, the corporation has buying, they have their own media, but they're buying the one who are, you know, in difficulties and, and and every corporation now are buying media. So in, in 10 years from now, it's all the media will be absolutely controlled by the corporation in the U.S. I mean, it will be no, and nobody's going to speak about the poor, nobody's going to speak about the and immigrant community, nobody's going to talk about the minority, nobody's going to, I mean, they are like disappearing yeah. from the discussion. Uh, Ten years is a, long, is a lot of time yeah, now. I, know. I think processes are faster. And I think we could, we could name this moment of process as an anti-humanist moment. Yeah. So the question is, what we, humanists, would do mm -hmm. in front of this situation? First of all, we have to assume, because very few people Take is assuming yeah. that we have changed the moment of process, yeah. that now we are in a new moment, yeah. different yeah. than the previous yeah. one. Yeah. We are in a new one in which we are facing this elite of extreme right, yeah. Concentrating in a very few hands, all economically, the economically, mediatically, mediatically and, and, and almost socially by, and, by consequences. And, and uh, machist, how you say, yeah. machista. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's an authoritarian uh, right. Mm -hmm. no? yeah. It's not a democratic, absolutely. In the way they proceed, it's absolutely authoritarian. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have to first assume that, mm -hmm. and then ask ourselves, how do all kind of humanist forces, all the ones that we are in the other side of the road, are, will we unite each other? Yeah. How we will, will get together? I think Spain... How we will build together... Spain was an interesting process on that sense. Yeah, and in Chile we have... In and Chile too, we have with... with uh, a very Tiny new experience, phenomena yeah. experience, which with the is Frente the, the Frente Amplio, yeah. which we, we have. Uh, no, 20. Because it comes from the same process, little bit of the same dynamic of Podemos in Spain, yeah. who have been able to yeah. capture some of the political power and, and keep Spain yeah. in, into. In, uh, in Chile, this, yes, has some similar, similarity, especially generational. Yeah as generation, yeah. because in Chile, these 20, 21 Congress people, yeah. uh, with many women, of yeah, course, yeah. are, and, and uh, many of them come from the students' movement, yeah, yeah? and mm. it's a new generation yeah. in, in, in the Congress. But the thing is, there is much more humanist people around that are feminists, that are the students, that are the indigenous people, that are many, many minorities. people, that, that minorities, that participate in, in, in different organizations, and we have to get together and to converge without losing our identity. No, I agree, but one belief has to s collapse. It's a belief then, one, I can get out of the situation by myself. If we don't... We have to lose many beliefs. Oh, okay. Many. 
One is to assume that we are in an anti-humanist moment yeah. of process. Yeah. The second one is to assume, to, to lose this uh, belief, this stupid belief on individualism. Yeah. This individualism is a belief of the neoliberal mm -hmm. uh, model. And if we are not subscribing that model, then let's do things in common. Yeah. Let's do things together. Let's join forces. Ah, we no, have if to that belief collapses, the rest is going. It's open. Yes, but he has, to, he has to fail. He has to. I cannot resolve this issue by myself. He has to. And the other thing is that we need to support each other. Yeah. We need help one to the other one, reciprocity. Yeah. We need to converge yeah. and to look for any way of convergence. In this sense, we have established, we have created uh, a sort of permanent ambit of reflection in South America that we call the Latin American Forum, Humanist Forum. I see. That is a permanent it's ambit the discussion. for convergence and reflection yeah. that will have a milestone on mm -hmm. May, mm -hmm. next May in Chile, uh -huh. where we will gather physically and virtually, of course. But the idea is to develop, as it was the Sao Paulo Forum, uh, Social Forum, and other forums in the world, now we need to have a humanist forum, a Latin American humanist forum, maybe an American if, 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 if here in the North you also join, but we will need to rethink a society based on other values, mm -hmm. on fraternity, on convergence of diversity, on the inclusion of minorities, on a common economy that will have new ways and we cannot stand anymore this uh, centralized way. We, we need to decentralize the economy, maybe to think in a, in a um, basic uh, income, income yeah, universal, basic, universal, income. basic universal income, or mm -hmm. something like that, mm -hmm. to get into new, new solutions, but to start thinking the post-neoliberal epoch, yeah? And that's the challenge, that's the challenge, because n nowadays, as we are, um, we have failed. Yeah. We have absolutely failed. We have to go, we have to close. Thank you so much <laughs> yeah. for coming. Okay, I it's late, it's I late. It's late, <laughs> yeah. and uh, I think we have, we have put the point we wanted to make. Yes, yes, and, thank uh, you for inviting uh, me you, here. You're thank welcome. you for this, for this wonderful evening okay. here. That was Face to Face, and uh, uh, keep watching your news on Presenza.com, and hope to uh, see you very soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.